right so now that, that we're back we're gonna edit the engine block so make sure that that engine block component it's turned on so we'll right click edit feature so we have 25 up let's go two sides but not symmetric and let's go down 175 there we go about there 200 total okay so i will continue here uh, I will continue drawing, so I'm gonna make a new sketch from the front. I'm gonna cut this, so it will be like that. Um, from here, we're just gonna do finish sketch and extrude that back negative one ten. That's all my half. Make sure to cut. Objects to cut. You click here and you turn off everything else. So you only need the component on. Right, because you don't want to be cutting all those pieces, you just want to cut one of the main pieces. Okay, click there. We're gonna make a new sketch from the from this face. So it will be a rectangle, something like that. Let's make a, a line in the middle, and this line will be a construction line. Let's dimension this to 30 by 250. And we want this to be um, coincident with the center, so that way it's center. And then we also want this line to be coincident this line we want to consider here there we go and I'm gonna be making some diagonal so from here to here and this angle will be 45 and another line that we can make from here to here and the angle will be also 45 and all I'll do is I will save that this part or <clears throat> this line and this one they are equal there we go and when I extrude, I can do that. And then I will do my circle from the center to 30. And the distance from the center to the bottom will be 132.5. Finish sketch. Okay, I will extrude, select everything. Uh, and then we'll extrude that back. Yeah, that looks good. Extrude the back like that. It will be actually 110. Yep. Where is it? Okay. Okay, I think I can edit some of the things in a little bit. Um, but for now, that seems good. And I will now cut, so go down to this sketch, make it on, select that circle, extrude, and extrude back a negative 90. And remember, we don't want to cut everything, also select this part, there we go. And we only want to cut the main, the last object, not everything. Press OK, turn off the sketch, and we can fix some of these things later. I uh, think the top, let's see if I fix this already. Any profile sketch. So I made this to 10, so let's make this one. Uh, 
100, no, no, 100, 190. Let's sketch. And then from here, I can edit or never mind, let's fix this instead of 190, let's make it 200. There we go. It's 200, that way after minus 110, it's still 90. And that last one, we can fix that cut any feature to 75, there we go. And that's how it looks. So if you go to the main assembly, all right, this is our engine and we can see it, you know, it's still working inside there. So um, we are almost done. We just have to add the, some of the fins and the fillets. You guys can add the fillets. You guys know, I'll give you the dimensions. They're 20. So uh, the fillet for this one will be 20. And this one. And then the fillet for the bottom ones will be 30. So this and this will be 30. And then we'll just need the fins. So, all right, so we're gonna be making the fins. So make sure that component, the engine is toggled on. And we're gonna be making a sketch here. Yeah, repetition, that's fine. And let's make it over here. So this will be um, 20 by four with a distance from this edge to here being six. Give me the sketch, extrude that part backwards 110 like that. Join. Let's make a new sketch on that face over here. Like that, okay. And then let's extrude this one, I think, up to a hundred. Okay. And what we will do now is we will do a rectangular pattern of features. So this feature. And this one, hopefully it's working in this direction. So let's do 180, let's do 15, and negative 180. And then we'll mirror those out. So mirror, we'll select over here down this component, the, the original one. So features as well. We select the, that and the original and the mirror plane will be that front plane. And okay, sometimes it, never, sometimes it doesn't mirror the first one, so edit feature. Oh, this one, two. Feature selected. So that one, two. Okay, there we go. So yeah, so now we have all those fins. So just add the remaining fillets. Um, we have to do all of them, which will be not to make it smoother. So. 
they have a radius, I think, of 10. So if I do this, I can just do the first one, it will be 10. So you have to do that for all of those edges. And I believe this lid for the faces, not the edge, but for the face will be about one to two. Yeah, it's a two millimeter fillet. Yep, 10 and then two millimeters. All right, so continue doing that for the rest of them. Once you're finished, go over here. That, make sure you add all the properties to your things. All the properties that you need and this should work out and let's just animate it to see uh, once again, working out. And over here, right click, edit, animate join. Wait, not that one. It's uh, animate join relationships. And there we go. Now it's working. Our engine block is working. You can change the color. Make sure you add the physical parameters, the physical properties, everything, part numbers, etc. Um, But, you know, that's as much as we can get it. All right. So... Uh, we're working on some of those things and all right thank you i'll see you guys in the next one